Interested in trying out Helium Mobile? Use my promo code shown here to get your first month for free. Okay, so while shooting footage for my Pixel 4 video, and then I found out that there was actually a update for the custom ROM that I currently have. So let's get into the video. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And so we are taking a look at the Google Pixel 4, and this is in my top five. Uh, one of the big, big things that stands out with the Google Pixel 4 that I wish they would kind of bring back is the size of the device. I think that the size for me is where it's at, which is kind of why I gravitate towards the A series because the A series still kind of falls along with the size of the Pixel 4. And yes, mine is running Android 14 because it does have a custom ROM, Evolution X 8.7. So I get currently the latest stuff. I'm not sure if it's going to be supported into Android 15. That remains to be seen, but so far, mostly everything is working just fine with this custom ROM and it allows me to keep the life going with the Pixel 4. But besides that, the Pixel 4 is a very controversial device when it first released. And even till today, it still tends to be one as there are people who are big fans of the device in total, except for one thing, which is the battery life. The battery life on this is not the greatest at all. And especially for how old it is, I'm pretty sure that the battery capacity is down into the 80%. So yeah, it's not getting even the full like charge that it used to get brand new right out of the box. So it's something that, you know, if you are considering the Pixel 4, you have to kind of consider. Maybe going with refurbish that states it had a battery replacement would probably be the best option. Um, Cause then you can get that fresh new battery inside there, pretty much uh, use it for its capacity. But besides that, you have a very awesome display. Of course, there's a top bezel because of the motion sense radar that's in there used for 3D face unlock. Um, that does take up quite a bit of space. So it's not like your current day smartphones that have nearly all screen uh, displays. But the display and color representation and everything is pretty nice. And it does go up to 90 hertz refresh if you want it to. I'm not a big stickler for 90 hertz refresh rate, so 60 hertz is just fine. Been using it for a long time, and you know it 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 works. It gets the job done as far as like viewing and scrolling and all that good stuff. Uh, gaming on the Pixel 4, even with a custom ROM, is still pretty good. I still play my Pokemon Go here. Don't have any issues at all whatsoever being on a custom ROM because it is not rooted, and that's what kind of messes with applications like banking apps and games and stuff is root. Um, but yeah, cameras are still pretty good. I think they actually take really good photos and you do get that telephoto sensor with it. So pretty interesting, but something came up. So while recording the review video and I ended up checking to see, and there is actually an update for the Pixel 4 on the Evo X Android 14 based ROM, and it moves it up to Evo X 9.3, which is still Android 14 based. However, it does bring up some of the vulnerabilities with the security patch for August. So decided to go ahead and dirty flash it onto my device. Uh, I'm going to speed things up so that way it doesn't take too much time. But literally just to do this, if you already have the ROM on there, just boot into recovery after downloading the ROM to your computer. Boot into your recovery, choose uh, ADB and an ADB sideload, and then open up a command prompt. Uh, in your platform tools and just type in ADB sideload and then the name of the ROM. I prefer to rename the ROM to something very simple so it's easier to type in when you're executing the commands in PowerShell. But yeah, so after getting it flashed on um, and getting it booted on, skip some time here because it did take quite a bit for it to boot on, uh, but we were able to get it on. All my apps are still there, all my data is still there. I didn't uh, do a factory wipe before installing the ROM. So that's why it's called a dirty flash because it still has all my information, data and stuff on there. Um, but yeah, cool thing that I noticed is that when you have it plugged into a charger, it shows you like the wattage of the charging, the time of the charging or how long it would take. So I think that's pretty cool. And you do still get, you know, a lot of the customizations within the ROM itself. So that's nice to have. But to show you guys, it is uh, Android 14 and it is now on version 9.3 instead of 8.7, which was the previous version it was on. So but anyways, now that we got it updated, uh, I got to take my kids to school. So I'm actually going to go ahead and run a couple of uh, photo tests and video tests on the Pixel 4 now. 
All right, so this is uh, the front selfie camera with the Pixel 4. It is using a custom ROM, Evolution X. So it's one of the guys, you know, see how the cameras are working and everything like that. So that's, you know, the whole purpose of this, but I got my son dropped off to the bus, so we're good on that. Um, I'm gonna snap a couple of photos here, you know, just, just for sakes. You guys can see what the uh, camera capabilities are. This is the main camera sensor with the Google Pixel 4. It's kind of giving you guys a little bit of how the camera performance is. Especially if you're going to be like recording vlogs and stuff like that, or maybe you guys are going to be recording content for, you know, different types of social platforms. Yeah. So as far as cameras, um, if you watched my Pixel 4 XL uh, update review, the cameras on the Pixel 4 and the 4 XL are not different at all in any way. This was back in a time where, you know, the larger model didn't have an additional camera sensor or a bigger camera sensor to be exact. So yeah, not much of a difference at all, right? Um, maybe slightly just because of the custom ROM. That could play a factor, but majority of it, I mean, to me, it's still the same. <laughs> 